All right, it says we're live. I guess we're live. We're live. We laugh. We laugh. All right. So um, um, I want to welcome everybody to Healthy Living with Ms. Renee the Barber. I am Ms. Renee the Barber, and you are at home here on Healthy Living with Ms. Renee the Barber. So if you um, are new here, I want to say welcome, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you for staying with me on my journey. I see you, Debbie. Go on, Debbie. Deb, you won. <laughs> You're the first one in here. Awesome. Debbie, what's going on with your phone? Now, we're not having any problem with the phone. You out here almost every night now. First one out here. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So if you just joined, you've just joined Healthy Living with Miss Renee the Barber. Just asking everyone, come on in, greet everyone in the broadcast. Okay. We want to know who you are. We want to make some new friends. I need to share myself out. Okay. So give me a minute. I'm going to do that. I'll be right back. Well, I'm not going anywhere, but <laughs> you guys probably can see me, but I cannot see you. All right. Let me see where I'm at. There I am. Let me share myself out. Illinois homeowners. All right. Don't forget the thumbs up. I appreciate you. Some people are caught up by those awesome, awesome commercials. Awesome. I got some good commercials, though. I have to admit. Come on in, come on in, join the live chat <laughs> every evening at 8.35 Central Standard Time here in the Chicago land area. All those typing classes that I took in high school, I think they paid off. See, I, this is how I type like this. I don't type like this. <laughs> I don't type like that. No, I do not. All right, who we got out here? PDD Wall. Thumb up even if I need sleep. Hi, host. Hi, you need some sleep, don't you? Do you? <laughs> Let me make sure I visit your channel. Okay, after I close out this broadcast, okay? The Miss Yo-Yo Show. Hello, Miss Yo-Yo. Good to see you. Thank you. Um, Debbie Bonson, as soon as you drop the link, I tap it. And there you are right away. Awesome. Even passed by the commercials. Look at you. Look at you. All right, so if you just joined, you have just joined Healthy Living with Miss Renee the Barber. I appreciate it. I appreciate the thumbs up. Okay. I appreciate that so much. Now, if you're new to this channel, welcome. If you're returning, thank you for staying with me on my journey. Don't forget, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Share, comment, and what? Yeah, hit that like button. Come on, let's join the family. Don't be temporary. All right. Now, I like to go into a word of prayer. We just want to go straight into a word of prayer. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this day, for we know that you have made. We thank you for we know that all things good and perfect uh, come from you. We ask that you continue to bless this channel. Keep it healthy and strong. Keep it out of harm's way. Protect those that are watching, the subscribers, uh, family, and friends. Keep them safe. Keep them healthy and let them prosper. We ask this in your mighty, matchless name, Jesus. Amen. 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 All right. I hope everybody had a wonderful day. It is Sunday. Wonderful Sunday. I don't know if there's a football game going on. I'll make my water real quick. There may be a football game going on. Shirley Mims Cook. What's going on, lady? 
this trucker's life? What happened to you? Was it technical issues? What's going on over there where you are? I'm out. I'm waiting for your live to come on. That's this trucker's life. Then I kept coming. I was multitasking, going back and forth. <laughs> then it said, then I came back the second time and it said it was coming back. It was coming on a, in a week, uh, November 7th. I don't know. I don't know if it was you or YouTube or who, because yesterday when I was trying to watch Cooking with Chef and Moore, it said she wasn't coming on till four and then she popped in about noon. I don't, hey, I was trying to organize my schedule. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, technical difficulties. No suggestions from audience. Oh, well, do we need to suggest? I thought if we didn't suggest that you would automatically go ahead and select what you're going to cook for dinner. You know, Truck is like he cooked every, mainly every Sunday live from his truck. Okay. So, um, Truck, I did, I did, I tried to, I tried to follow me. Okay, I'm sorry about the technical difficulties. Every, I think most YouTubers, um, you know, have technical difficulties. You know, Miss Lynn do. I have. Okay, so everybody have. And we work through it, right? That's what we do. We work through it. So good to see that you were out here. Good to see you out here. Alrighty then. Uh, like I said, uh, in the kitchen with Karen. Hey, 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 Miss Renee. Hey. Hi, everyone. What are you saying? This trip is five? No. This week was specifically for audience to make a dinner selection. Oh, oh I would have cast a vote then. Every time I cast a vote, it's not the one that was selected. So I'm like, okay, well, you're all right that. Okay, I'll, so what about this coming week? Do we have to select? Because if, if we do, I will select the meal, okay? I'll go back over to your page. What's wrong with this piece of hair? It keep wanting to come over there. I'm trying to put it back there. Get back, get back, get back. Okay. Um, Cheryl, you saying hello to the host. You are looking good. It's it's good to see you. Good to see you too, as always, Shirley. Thank you for coming on out. Yeah, yeah. I've been out here seven minutes. I haven't even talked about what we're going to talk about tonight. Tonight, thank you in the kitchen with Karen. Thank you so much. Now, um, tonight we're talking about Louise Beavers, Louise Beavers. Now, I don't see that many, you know, here's the thing about um, the topic that we're going to talk about. You know, let me, let, let me, let me, let me just, you know, preface the topic. Okay. Let me just preface. Because if you don't, you may not know who Louise Beaver is. Actually, and I'm going to ask you a question. Okay. I hope everybody participates. Okay. With this question. I was hoping that Mama Ray Ray and Chef and Moore would come on out here um, before I ask the question, you know, because they are YouTuber cooks, right? They cook on their channel. And, um, but who who doesn't cook? Everybody cooks. Trucker's Life out here, he cooks. Everybody cooks. Everybody cooks. One thing we have in common, one common thread we have is that most people cook, right? You cook. Uh, either, either you like to cook. Or maybe you don't like to cook, but everybody in their life has cooked and can tell you a story about a favorite dish. Now, when I do the National Days, um, I try to find um, products or dishes or items that are healthy for us and then discuss that, right? What are the benefits? It helps me. Like I always say, when I'm talking to you guys, I'm talking to me. But the thing about it is... Um, Sometimes I can't find healthy national days. And then I have to talk about other things. But this one was kind of hands down. I didn't even, I put in uh, national food for today. I don't know what came up. I can't even recall. It must have not been healthy. So you you making your favorite uh, ro romaine noodles. Okay, I got you with flavor. <laughs> so what happened was, um, you know, I was looking for a uh, healthy food. I could not find one. Maybe I didn't look hard enough. Okay. And then I put in, this is what I do. When, I, when, when I'm subbing in school, if I'm the substitute school teacher, um, what I normally do, if I can't find the lesson plan that the teacher has left, what I'll do is look up um, on Google. What's, what happened? What was significant? What happened that was significant on this day? And then we'll, and then there will be like about five or six things that happened on any given day. And then I'll choose one. 
So that's what happened today, you know. What happened that was significant on this day? So on this day, um, well, you know, I give the information the day ahead of time. So now we're talking about October 26th, which is tomorrow, right? October 26th. Um, Louise Beavers passed away on October 26th, 1962. Now, I know you said, well, <laughs> Renee, that was more than, uh, what was that about? Uh, what was that about? 50, 50 decades ago? <laughs> so you said, wait, you know, that was 50 decades ago. But um, Louise Beavers played uh, an important role in a classic film that was made back in the 30s. Okay. And that movie, that classic movie, has been uh, released more than once. Okay, it was released again in 1959. What's going on, Shades Tube, out there in California? You may know Louise Beavers. Louise Beavers actually was from Cincinnati, Ohio. Now, sometimes I do talk about people. Like I was, like one time we did. Uh, talk about Apple Betty. Remember that, Shays Tube? Debbie Von Zant, you were out here. We talked about uh, Apple Betty. Apple Betty actually um, created the, um, you know, that um, that apple dish where you crumple up the, you put some sugar and cinnamon in there and you crumple that up on top of your apple pie. Apple Betty was a black woman. Okay, so she's she's recognized for creating that. Thing, okay. Um, the reason why I brought up um, Louise Beavers is because she she prepared a dish. She played a character. Now she's done several different movies. She's been in several different television shows, and that's quite an honor. We're talking about back in the '30s, a black woman. You know, and you know, black back then, most black women played. They played either the maid, the cook. Or the, or the, they call them the mammies. They took care of the house. They, no, they played the, they played the, the, um, the housekeeper, right? The maid, the mammy took care of the family or the slave. That's what they, they played. And, um, yes, um, Shane, I hope you're doing well too. So, yeah. So, uh, Louise Beavers played a role where she was the mammy. In this particular film, classic film, she played the mammy. Now, in this particular film, there were a lot of different plots going on at the same time. That's why this film has been released multiple times. It had a lot of different plots, but it all based on racism. And um, I thought it was released here in the new millennium. I may be mistaken. I tried to find that, but I couldn't. So we do know that it was released in the 30s and again in 1959. By now, you all may know what film I'm talking about. Maybe you do not know. Now, in the film, Louise Beavers, she played a role where she had a specific item that she prepared, okay, which later she cooked. She cooked, right? She cooked. Uh, I'm sure most of us have cooking skills that we just, we don't think that uh, we'll ever become a millionaire off of whatever we're preparing. Like I said, some people out here probably don't even like to cook, but we all have a skill. All right. Well, in this particular movie, she played a woman who cooked. And whatever that dish was that she cooked made her a millionaire. Can you believe that? This is a fictional character. She played, Louise Beavers played a fictional character that cooked a certain dish that made her a millionaire. She was a black woman back in the 30s. This film, I mean, if you, I mean, every generation should not have, should be exposed to this film. It's one of those films you could pass on from generation to generation. Um, can you all tell me, okay, two questions. Can you tell me the name of the film? And can you tell me what was the dish 
or the item that she cooked and prepared that made her a millionaire. So we're talking about her because tomorrow um, was the anniversary of her death, October 26, 1962. She was 60 years old when she passed away. She was born um, in Cincinnati, Ohio, and then her parents moved to Pasadena, California, and then she started acting. She's done over 150 roles throughout her career. I think that's awesome. Awesome. So can anyone tell me what was the name of the film, the classic film, and what was the dish that she prepared that made her a millionaire? Now, I know that if um, Robin was out here, she'd tell me. Um, and I'm bringing this up because I cook in my film. I cook in my YouTube films. So I was like, wow. This particular film I saw when I was a child. And it has stayed with me my entire life. This is one of those films you will never forget. It's a classic. In fact, it's in the top 25 films of all time. Classic movies. I'm waiting for your response. I don't know if y'all multitasking or what. You waiting for me to give you the answer? <laughs> you know what, Karen? You are really close. You said Gone with the Wind. Now, that's what led that movie led me to Louise Beavers because in the movie Gone with the Wind, the lady that played the maid was Hattie McDaniel. She also um, she also passed away on October 26th. I almost talked about her, but I was like, that's not food or don't have anything related to food. So that's why I didn't do. But then I kept looking and then I found Louise Beavers. Now, do, now, do I, Cheryl, you say, what is her name again? Her name is Louise Beaver. So now I got three questions to ask you. The name of the movie, her name of her character, and what was the food that she perfect, prepared that made her a millionaire? Give me some thumbs up. I see everybody out there. If you on the roof, come on in. Come on in. <laughs> Shirley, I, I would think that you would remember this movie. It was released back in the 1930s. And um, again, re-released in 1959. I thought that it's been released since then. She played, um, she played a maid, but she was like the house, house, housekeeper type. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you how the story goes. Okay, you all will remember this. This is a classic. Maybe y'all don't like classic movies. I don't know. But in night, like in the 1959 version, it was different from 1930s. Okay. In the 1930s, when Louise Beavers played in this particular film, she was looking for a place to stay. Her and her daughter were homeless. They were looking for a place to stay. They could not find a place to stay because um, no one would wanted a, a single woman with a child to stay with them. Mama Ray Ray, I'm glad you're out here. Mama Ray, we're talking about Louise Beavers. Now, Louise Beavers, um, she her uh, her anniversary of her death is tomorrow, October 26. She died in 1962. She was 60 years old when she passed away. She was in her 30s when she made this movie. Okay. And I'm telling you, I'm trying to give you hints. This is what I like, Mama Ray Ray. If you could tell me the name of the movie the name of her character that she played and the food item that she prepared and cooked that made her a millionaire. Because I think we all have skills like this. And sometimes we don't recognize our skill, whether it's cooking or it could be cleaning. It could be YouTubing. And sometimes it takes other people to see our skill. Just like it took someone else to see her skill. And that's what made her a millionaire. 
You got it, Shirley. Imitation of Life. That's the name of the movie. Imitation of Life. Now, now, Shirley, what was the name of the character? And what was the food item that she prepared that made her a millionaire? And see, at that time, people didn't know that she was a millionaire until she died. She died in the movie. They didn't know how wealthy this woman was just from that food that she kept cooking. Right? Yeah. So, um... Like I said, Imitation on Life is a wonderful film. If you haven't seen it, you need to take time to look at it. Uh, it crosses all cultural barriers. And um, to let you know, you know, there is hope, you know, and it makes you think about it. I'm sure there's a part in the movie that affects each one of us. Um, Shay's Tube, you said you're going to have to watch it. You're going to have to watch it, you know. Uh, like I said, it was released in the 1930s and then again in 1959. I thought it was another remake of it uh, just recently, like in the in the new millennium, but I couldn't find it. All right. But um, um, you guys want to know what she prepared that made her rich, made her a millionaire? Yeah, I think I'm awake. I've been out here 21 minutes. Let's talk about Louise Beavers. I mean, Hattie McDaniel did play in Gone with the Wind, and she did pass away on October 26th. i um, not sure what year. And Louise Beavers was 60 when she passed away. Um, Mama Ray Ray, you saying, yes, please tell me what she made that made her rich. Let me tell you the storyline. So... Um, Louise Beavers, she played a character and the character had a little girl and Louise Beavers was single and she was looking for a place to live and she happened to knock on, now Louise is black right? Well she, her character black. She knocked on the door of this white lady and the white lady was not going to let her in but the white lady was, had just lost her husband. So she was basically, she was a widow. And at the time that Louise knocked on the door and the white lady was saying, no, you can't stay here. Her, the white lady's child was upstairs taking a bath and started screaming. So, okay, Carter, Carter, I see, do you know the name of the, we already have established the name of the movie, Imitation of Life. But what was, what was um, Louise Beaver's character name and what was the food item that she cooked that made her rich? They didn't know how rich she was until she died. She had it all. Um, all right. So the lady went upstairs to rescue her daughter. The white lady went upstairs to rescue her daughter. And when she came down, uh, it ain't what it looked like with Miss Lynn. Thumbs up to the host, Miss Lynn. What was the character in Imitation of Life? What was the character's name that uh, Louise Beavers played? And what was the dish, the food item that she prepared that made her rich in the movie? Okay. <laughs> I see everybody out here. I'm waiting for some answers. Okay, because I got... This is all I'm gonna just keep talking for seven minutes there until I get an answer. I want some participation. Um, Miss Lynn, I thought you would know this. I really thought you would know this. You know what? Uh Louise Beavers, anybody we got any Sigma Gamma Rose out here? Louise Beavers a Sigma Gamma Rose. Oh yeah, she's a Sigma Gamma Rose. Now, uh <laughs> Mama Reverend said, no, I don't know. Tomorrow, tomorrow, um, let, let's celebrate the life and legacy of Louise Beavers. Uh, Carter said, just dealt the signal. They DST out here. Okay. <laughs> well, her character's name was Manny. Man no, no, it wasn't Manny. But she what she played a mammy. That's what she, that's what they called her back in the 30s, a mammy. She played a mammy. Don't remember nothing but me crying a lot when you watch that movie. 
So, so I go on to say that the, um, the white lady had gone upstairs to rescue her daughter. And that's when um, Louise Beaver's character made her way on into the house, went on into the kitchen, started cooking. And when the white lady came down, she had never had a meal like that before. And she said, go ahead. As long as you, you can stay here, you and your daughter stay here and just cook and take care of the house. And we call it even. We're going to barter. Okay. You stay here, but you for free, as long as you take care of me. Because the white lady, she wanted to be an actor. And so she really wasn't making any money. Right. Her husband had died and left left her off, you know. But she was she needed money too. She needed help too. So you had two single women living together and and both of them had one child apiece and each child was a female, a girl. All right. And so the um wait a minute, I think in 1959 the white lady was an actress. But in 1930 she was a businesswoman. That's what it was. Right. She was a businesswoman. She, her husband had developed, now here's a big hint. Her husband, before he died, he had a company where he made syrup. Okay. But that's what he made, but it wasn't selling. After he died, it wasn't selling. So she needed something to go along with it. She had, um, so anyway, I've given you a big clue. Okay. <laughs> Come on, somebody tell me. Anyway, goes on where um, Louise Beavers kept making this product and she's at the white lady said, okay, let's go into business together. And Louise Beavers initially was like, no, I don't want to. And then she did. That's right. Then my, my, my Ray -Ray, you won. You won, Mama Ray -Ray. Okay. <laughs> so, um, the name her the Louise Beaver's character back then her name was Delilah if you guys don't remember Delilah or Delia I'm not real sure I gotta watch the movie again it stayed with me my entire life imitation of life it's about people that's not really comfortable where they are in their skin it has so many different plots the the cultural the racism that's why they remade it again in 1959 and I. I think they remade it again and Robin was out here. She would know. I think they made it. But yeah, it was the uh, pancake that she made. She just was making some pancakes. She didn't realize, you know, how uh, somebody else saw her talent. She even got them boxed and she was making them, you know, and everybody was coming by. She would have lines of folks standing outside the restaurant waiting to have those pancakes. They didn't, it wasn't about the syrup. It was about the pancakes. Yeah. I hope you all get a chance to watch that movie. It's much more deeper than that, but it's about two single women, uh, two different races, um, um, business associates, uh, the cooking, and all of that, all that, all that, all that. It's like I said, it's much more deeper than what I'm trying to explain to you. But I hope you get a chance to watch it. I don't know. I, you may not be able to watch it for free. It's a classic. It's one of the top 25 classic movies of all time. Yeah, the, the uh, black girl, uh, Louise uh, Beavers. See, she played in the 1930s uh, version. But in the uh, 1959 version, uh, I'm not sure who played in that version. Um, but it was different. It was a, I think that was Juanita Moore. Juanita Moore. Juanita Moore played in that version. But Louise Beavers played in 1930s version. Yeah. You guys got to see it. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It's a good movie. It'll make an impact with you for the for the rest of your life. I am guarantee that. Yeah. All right. I've been out here 29. So tomorrow is um, the day, October. Yeah, it's a wonderful movie. You're welcome, Sister Fifi. I enjoyed being over there. I did. Thank you. I, um, if you haven't had a chance to, um, what was I going to say? It is a wonderful movie. Uh, it ain't what it looked like. I hope everybody gets a chance to see it. I hope, including my daughter, 3LLA, I hope she goes over there and try to pull it up. I don't know if you could pull it up for free now, though. 
Um, so I'm talking about the Imitation of Life, the 1930s version. Ooh, look at you. <laughs> Ella, go over the end. I appreciate you. Thank you. Um, wishing you all a good night and happy new week. Remember, I'm glad you said that, Shades, too. Start your week the way you want to finish it. I don't know. I don't want to get off all these folks up out of here. All right. Uh, let me ask you this. Then, let me ask you this real quick. How many people have seen The Imitation of Life? Okay, let's start out with, um, congratulations, Mama Ray Ray. She won the uh, gift over there, Shades, too, with give giveaway. Congratulations, Mama Ray Ray. All right. So, um, yeah. Put a number one in the comment section if you've heard of Imitation of Life. Um, it's a very emotional um, vi uh, movie. And you've seen it at least a dozen times. Hey, Lynn, you think we can watch it tomorrow? I mean, let's do something to commemorate Louise Beavers. I mean, I think she was a nominated uh, some award, probably an Academy Award for that role. She was listed number four on the billboard, you know, in, in order of the marquee. She was listed number four, but she she played her part. She played her part, okay? She played her part. Can we watch it tomorrow? Is this free? We got to pay. I don't know. <laughs> it's one of those movies that you want to uh, have in your collection. Did she die or something? Louise Beavers was the uh, the character in the 1930s version. She died October 26th in 1962. I'm just relating her to my channel because uh, tomorrow is significant because if we like to commemorate and celebrate her life and legacy, we can do that tomorrow, October 26th. The reason why I picked her was because she became a rich woman. That character that she played became, well, she became rich herself, but the character that she played became very wealthy over some pancakes that she made. Those pancakes became boxed. I mean, it wasn't just something that she was making. She started out just making them at home and then later the white lady said, hey, we're going to start marketing these pancakes because people were standing in line just to have her pancakes. Like I said, it's much deeper than that, of course. <laughs> don't don't watch the uh, 1959 version. Try to, try to get the 1930s version, okay? Because that's the one where she's cooking the pancakes. Because in the 1959 version, I think that um, they, the two women met on the beach. And like I said, the, in the 1959 version, the white lady was um, trying to be an actress. Okay. So we're talking about back in 19, we're talking about back in 19, you think it's on Netflix? See if it's free on Netflix, <laughs> okay? Because back in the 1930s, did you really have two, two women living together like that? Creating a business deal, becoming business partners? I mean, that was kind of, what do you think? That was kind of unheard of. I'm going to try and see that classic movie. Thanks for sharing with us. But surely you've seen it before, right? Um. You bring the, no, you won't order your Hula <laughs> I took my Hula Hoop into the school on Thursday, which is our last day of the week when we're in the school. And that thing disappeared for like hours, okay? Then I had to go searching for it, okay? Um, now everybody want to do the Hula Hoop and get some exercise in. I may bring it tomorrow. I'm not real sure. All right. I may bring it tomorrow. I'm not real sure. But can we, but can you, can we, can we run uh, Imitation of Life tomorrow? I'm just saying, I, this is my desire. If everybody could like celebrate, commemorate the life of Louise Beavers, who played the part of Delilah in the movie Imitation of Life. She was the mammy. 
She was the one that took care of the family. She was the one that made the meals. She was the one that made that breakfast that morning and uh, was recognized for her skill making food, okay? And she became a millionaire. And even her own daughter didn't respect her. And that's all she wanted, respect from her daughter. And her daughter was like, mm -mm. okay, so you all remember because her daughter was mulatto and her daughter could pass as a white lady. And um, in fact, in the 1930s version, the lady that played her daughter, the, the lady that played her daughter was only one year older. She was playing her daughter, but she was only one year older than uh, Louise Beavers. And um, the daughter didn't want anything to do with her mother because her mother was black and she looked black. And it was embarrassing for her daughter. Uh, one time it was raining outside. You remember this, Lynn? It was raining outside. And the mother, um, which was Louise Beavers, she said, oh, she thought about her daughter. And she was like, I got to take her her rain boots because I don't want her to get sick. Right? And she took her rain boots to school and she looked through the classroom door and she saw her daughter and her daughter was like uh, embarrassed. She tried to hide. And then the teacher came because there weren't any, I don't think there was any black kids in that class. So the teacher came to the door and said, y'all talking about the Lulu. I'm talking about the movie. Let me see. Let me see. Let me get over there. It made you cry. I know. And she and the teacher came to the door and the um and the lady said, I'm looking for my daughter. These are her boots. And the teacher was like, oh, man, we don't have any colored, we don't have any colored girls in this classroom. And and then Louise Beaver said, That's my daughter sitting right there. And now all the kids was like, you were it, you know, using the N-word. I don't know if we can say that on YouTube. Oh, your mama are in. Okay, your mama are in. And she ran out the room and never saw Louise Beavers again. She was like, uh uh, this ain't, no, this ain't the life I want to live. She even, um, she, didn't, she didn't want anything to do with her mother because she was black and looked black. So um, she lived a life of, um, I don't know, maybe ill repute. I don't know. Okay, she was ashamed of her mama. That was terrible. The sacrifice that her mama made, she was ashamed of her mama. And then what made her turn around? Her mama got sick. Yeah, the daughter was a dancer. Yeah, a, more like a stripper dancer, right? She didn't have to be. Her mama was rich. And, um, and then when her mom died, that's when she decided, no, I need my mama. But her mama had died by then. It was like her mom died. And then that's when she was like, right when her mom died, that's when she decided that I need to repair this relationship I had with my mama. But she missed it. It was so close. By the time she she went to see her mama, her, they were bringing the casket. The funeral had just occurred and they were bringing the casket out to the, um, this lady was so rich. She had horse and buggy drew her casket and they were putting her in the um in the horse and buggy and the um mama was and the and the daughter was screaming and crying and the police wouldn't even let her through. No, uh uh, you can't go. Because that lady had so much money you couldn't get close to her by that point. Not even her own daughter. Um, I think she did break through though and able to touch the casket. You know, sad. Y'all don't, if y'all want a good crime movie, that's the one. Okay. It's a good crime movie. All right. Let me go back up to the hula hoop. Y'all talking about the hula hoop. All right. Um, I will watch it now. Yeah. You're going to watch it, Mama, uh, Sister Fifi Tyson. Okay. If I bring the hula hoop, you'll, you'll, you're going to, but you said, uh, you just pulled, Shirley, you said, you just pulled up the movie. It's free, but it's, it's in 1959, right? 
but Louise Beavers was not in 1959. It's a it's the same storyline with some changes, you know. I like I like the 1930 version best. Okay, um, Miss Lynn, five and below have them for five dollars. Hula hoops? You talking about? Not you talking about the weighted hula hoops? Wow, I didn't know that. I want a hula hoop. <laughs> you want a hula hoop too, Curtis E? Um, yes, they have the big size and a and the and a little size for five dollars and below. I was just over there today. I went over there Saturday and I went over there today because I had to exchange that um screen protector for my phone. It turns out they don't have um one for my phone. They got a lot of iPhone products over there. So she told me to go down to um, Best Buy. But when I got over to Best Buy, they wanted me to pay $50 for uh, the screen protector. I said, no, not today. And the guy was like, well, you probably can get it cheaper on Amazon. So I would just be careful with my phone. Um, Mama Ray Ray, you said you don't want to cry. You don't want to cry. I know the movie will make you cry. Um, the girl was ashamed of her mother, and it was terrible. She felt she she felt that she had white privilege. The daughter felt that she had white privilege, and I'm sure people sh showed that. Oh, you talking about the kind that I have? The kind of hoop I got. That's a, a two pounder that I got. It's an adult size two pounder. You can break the links down. Miss Lynn is really good. If you have Miss Lynn, if anybody wants to see Miss Lynn, I'm gonna go ahead and give you your Facebook because you always did it. Is it okay? Give your Facebook. If you want to see Miss Lynn Hula Hoop on her Facebook page, go to uh Lina L I N I. L I N A Fairly. F A I R L E Y. Line up Fairly. That's Miss Lynn's Facebook page. Mm. She was doing the hula hoop and she's good. Now she probably hadn't done the hula hoop in about, Miss Lynn, what was the last time you did the hula hoop? Probably about 40 years. <laughs> Something like that. But she kept it up. And the more she did it, the longer it stayed up. Um, can every everyone go watch my video and leave me a comment, please, Miss Renee? Yeah. Oh, you talking about uh, which which video you talking about? The one you did today, the shrimp and grits. Please go to Mama Ray Ray's page. Um, and um, let me see something. Ella, out, Ella, you out there? Can you drop Mama Ray Ray's um, video? Miss Lynn, I just made you a um, moderator, okay? Yeah, and it ain't what it looked like, Miss Lynn. 50 years ago. <laughs> 50 years ago since you Googled. Miss Lynn was really good. Go over and check out Lina, L-I-N-A, fairly, on her Facebook page. You'll see her out there who you can. Um, container crops, you've been practicing your hula hoop? Honey, I've been practicing a whole year. I can't wait to show you all what I can do with my hula hoop. Uh, container crops, you just going to include everybody. Okay, so hello, everybody. That includes Mama Ray Ray in the kitchen, Shirley Cook, and it ain't what it looked like. Girl, you know I don't know what to do. <laughs> Mama Ray Ray in the kitchen, yeah. Shirley, I'm watching it now, and they have a black maid taking care of a family. It's played by someone else. Okay, thanks, Ella. That's okay. So Ella just dropped Mama Ray Ray in the kitchen. That's her shrimp and grits. Yes, I hula hoop about an hour a day, and I'm working on learning tricks now. Me too. Me too. Container crops. That's some good exercise. Let me tell you. But I'm a um. You welcome, Mama Ray Ray, in the kitchen. Um, what was I going to say about that? Um, it, it can it like 
Like, well, today I didn't hula hoop. Let me just be honest with you. I did not hula hoop. Um, you know, um, in, in my video, you see, you see me exercise, and I did the hula hoop. Then I did, um, I got a gazelle, a Tony Little gazelle. And I bought that last year before the winter hit in because it's easy on your joints. Um, and so what happened was um, today I, I worked out on my gazelle. I worked out about forty five minutes on that thing. And during that time, who did I watch? I watched Shay's Tube. I watched 3LLA. And I watched, um, who else did I watch? Oh, Glorious uh, Life on Wheels. Oh, and I watched um, Taylor Fire and Grill. Now, everybody else, Container Crops, I did watch you. And Mama Ray Ray, I watched you too. Let me see who haven't I watched. I gotta watch PDB walk. I gotta watch. I gotta wa uh, watch him. And um, it ain't what it looked like. Uh, I think I'm behind once on you. Sherry and Val. I mean, Sherry and Val. Okay, I gotta watch you. Sister Fifi Tyson, I was out with you today on your live. And, um, I'm just looking. I feel really bad because um, yesterday, Canal Duche Brazil was out here and I called everybody's name, but theirs. I mean, they when Canal Duche Brazil came out, they said hola. I did say hola, but I didn't call out the name. I feel bad. Carter's Eats. Carter's Eats has been out. Carter, what was she doing? You was doing something. Okay, you, Carter introduced me and everyone else to the new sandwich at McDonald's. She also cooked chicken feet, which those things freak me out. Every time I see that, it freaked me out. But there was something else Carter's Eats that you did today. Or was it yesterday? I love the color of your hair. Um, there was something. Lord, I can't remember. I did comment on it. Little mama sitting there. She's so, she's so cute. Um, let me see. <clears throat> I think I caught everybody. I'm just checking everything. She is too. Yeah, I caught you out. And then we got Dippy Vault Zone out here. And Ella, thank you for your um your um chat. Thank you. And um <coughs> man, I haven't seen Joanne Price since um was it last Sunday? Hmm. Yeah, it was last Sunday. She hasn't been out here since last Sunday. All righty then. Container crops, you was out again today. What were you making today? Yesterday you made the cinnamon rolls and today... Oh, I couldn't recall, but uh, container, not container crops, but cooking with Chef and more. My eyes are starting to water now, but um, cooking with um, Chef and more. Let's see. What did you make? To oh, yes. Girl, you made that egg. No. Oh, girl, you made that egg. No. Getting ready for the holidays. Everybody getting ready for the holidays. That's right. Girl made that eggnog and damn put a little spirits in there. I saw you. That was awesome. That was awesome. Um, <laughs> my brother and I, when we were kids, we would always try to make eggnog. Uh, I don't know. I don't know why this eye is like, look at me. I have no shame in my game, right? Look at me. Toilet paper, okay? I don't know if y'all knew that about me. I use toilet paper. Okay. I use toilet paper to blow my nose. 
No shame, no shame, no shame, no shame. So if you all want to know who all got the toilet paper, uh, Mama Ray Ray hoarding all that toilet paper over there. <laughs> I swear, six months ago, I could not find any toilet paper anywhere, okay? I know some people was like hoarding it, you know what I mean? After that, it was like, I couldn't find the hand soap, you know? No, it wasn't the hand soap. It was the uh, hand sanitizer. I, I guess everybody hoarding that too, okay? If not, you better, because we coming up on the winter months, you know? We don't know what to expect. I had you looking for the toilet paper too. <laughs> Miss Lynn was gonna bring me some toilet paper. I was like, I was down to two rolls because I didn't take things serious. And then all of a sudden, I'm down to two rolls. And when I stopped, tried to look for some toilet paper, couldn't find it nowhere. I mean, nowhere. And then when I finally found, I could only buy four rolls. It was a four roll pack, and it wasn't even the brand that I like. Those crazy times. I'm put that, that's already in my journal. Share with my grandkids. All right. Because I thought, I'm going to just say this real quick. And then I'm going to get ready to go. Because I thought back then, and it was overpriced. I thought back then that the toilet paper was made in China. I said, well, how, well, how long did it take for them to restock the shelves with the toilet paper? It must be made in China. Then I was, Then someone said, no. There's a plant in Atlanta, GA. I was like, well, then why is the fact nobody had me toilet paper? Anyway, I'm going to let y'all go. I appreciate you guys. I've been out here um, 51 minutes and 48, 49, 50 seconds. I appreciate you guys. I hope you're drinking water. And um, it was good seeing everybody. Stay safe. Be healthy. Don't don't forget to wear your mask. I forget every time I go to the grocery store. Every time I get ready to enter the store, I gotta double back to the car. Them shrimp and good. I know them shrimp and grits was off the chain. If you ain't seen it, you better go over there. You better talk to somebody. Okay. Uh huh. Mama Ray made that. Alrighty then. Um. Let me see. Do I have my water? I got my water right here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Share, comment, what? Eh, eh. Did I drop a video today? I'm like lost. Let me see. I think I dropped a video today. If I did, I'm going to tell you what it was in a minute. What I do? I did. I dropped the uh, I, I, uh, pan fried the sweet potatoes. The movie is good. You watching this, Shirley? I told you the movie's good. It's in the, it's in the top 25 of all time classic movies. If y'all have not seen Imitation of Life, you got to see it. Okay? You got to see it. Okay? Um, yeah, I dropped the I dropped the uh video. I meant to say I dropped the video today. I did sweet potatoes. I got to catch that. Okay, Shay. Uh-huh. Um, I did sweet potatoes. I cooked them in a frying pan on top of the stove. And um, I added the peppers and some sausage in there. Okay. I just finished filming another one. You wait till you see this one. <laughs> I just And you'll know which one I'm talking about because I got this shirt on. Okay, all I did, I just took off my apron. Sit down here, came live. Okay. Okay. So look, hey, um, check out Imitation of Life. And then um, I like the 1930s version because of Louise Beavers. And she was the, she made the pancakes that made her a millionaire. We all got a skill. That's my whole point. We all have a skill. Okay. Um, you may not see it. Um, someone else may see it. You may not be comfortable with it. Um, but, but, um, it, you may not see it in this lifetime, but somebody's going to remember you for something, especially if you're a YouTuber, going to go back and say, remember that dish? Yeah, she created that dish. That's a one of a kind. It's going to be very popular. Can you all see us five years from now? All right, I'm doing, I'm doing too much talking. All right. <laughs>
keep doing what you're doing on YouTube. Okay, that's all I'll say. Keep doing what you're doing. And if you're not on YouTube and you love to cook, hey, share the recipes with your family. Okay, share the recipes with your family. Okay, here's the healthy living. See you in the next video. Jane, Jane, get me off this crazy. <laughs>